All right, and we're back and we're continuing with the Master Trials. Uh, I'm still mulling over, well, we'll see how this goes. If I want to, we did the beginning tier last time and I'm debating if I want to just compile them all in one video, just, you know, connect them all together later, just not all in one shot. But anyways, uh, we're just gonna get in right into it. This is the focus. We're just gonna jump right into the Master Trial and now we're gonna go do the middle tier, you know, wave two, um, which, you know, just doing a quick reading. Oh, shoot, I forgot something I was going to do. Whatever. Um, <laughs> something I forgot I was going to do is preamble, but we're fine. Um, ouch, jeez. So, yeah, we're just going into the middle tier, and all I know is, you know, how many levels. So, apparently, first one is 12, second one is 16, third one is uh, 23, I think. Yeah. So, we got 16 rep, um, levels. Good to know, just for context. To the blaze chosen hero in the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer the trial of the sword. Just the same preamble as before. You must acquire still more power to wield the, the true splendor of the Master Sword. Dope. You must fortify your mind, body, and soul by eradicating all obstacles that appear in this realm. In this illusory realm of sacred mystery, anything can happen. All that you obtain here will be lost upon your return to the reality you know. Chosen hero of the Master Sword, overcome the trials of the sword, and claim the blade's true splendor. Alright, we're already being harried. Oh boy. Bob drop! <laughs> Just dance around them. Boop! Oh, the bomb's being lifted up. That's not helpful, actually. Oh, Jesus! No! <laughs> There he goes! But I kind of need that weapon. Damn it! Okay, we just barely caught him. I didn't think about that. We're just like, oh, we're gonna hit that, aren't we? Okay. I think I want my approach to be because I think we lost that uh, bow and arrow to the winds. We got him. of arrows we got a bow biggest thing is there's treasure chests that we can't reach uh, you know and then it's like my question is how do we light fire to them well Actually, sweet. Okay, that's one at least. Arrows, bananas. Oh, fire arrows, perfect. I was gonna say, it's like, okay, how can we light an explosion that's not gonna kill us that we can then light our bow from? But we should be able to just do this. There we go. Ooh, that was very close from just landing on us. That would have been that would have been a, probably a nasty hit. Broadsword. There we go. All right, got a good opening range of equipment. And you know we're changing up you know the aesthetic from kind of more wildernessy to more Sheikah shrine. Uh, so that's fun. Let's see if that carries on. Is my microphone on? Yes, it is. I don't know why I was worried about that. Oh, uh, whiz robe. I don't suppose we can make him fall into the abyss, can we? 
Damn it. There we go. Just overwhelm. I remember Axe is actually very good for cutting wood, obviously. So why use anything else to do it? Okay, wherever the whiz robe went. Later. Don't... Nope, there goes the bow. Oh, it landed. Okay, we're getting a lot of arrows. Okay, that just instantly killed him. I was worried that was going to be... He wouldn't be able to take fall damage like that. But I suppose that means we miss out if we don't fight him where he lands on a platform. That means we miss out on, um, you know, his fire uh, rod, which could be useful. Is there another one around? Sounds like they're footsteps. Speaking of which... Nope, he missed it. Yeah, it's fine. Alrighty. Whoops. Whoops. There we go. Feathered edge. Alright, and you know, the equipment we're getting is also kind of cooler just from the outset as well. You know, we're getting more varied blades instead of just like basic ramshackle thing with the occasional, um, you know, actually refi refined weapon. We're getting some of that stuff early. Oh boy, that looks nasty. Oh no, I did not even realize they had exploding arrows. Okay. Whoops. Oh no! Didn't account for the no stamina I had. Probably lose a heart for that. Oh no. Well, that bomb arrow didn't hurt as much as the other one did, surprisingly. Nope, oh, there's another guy on a platform. Oh, no. Oh, no, that was just the platform from the other guy I was on. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. It's like, this is a pretty easy start. Oh, no. Oh, no, that is a different... Ah, shoot. I suppose I should have been more ready. I was thinking it's like, oh, fly, flop off, and then land in the... Nope. Oh, well. Loads of arrows, you know. There's definitely more emphasis on archery in this one. Okay, what do we got? Just taking stock. Because I should, you should save your food um, until we get to the first rest area where we can cook it, therefore making the food more efficient. So, you know, we've taken some hits, but we can manage. We can, we can survive this. Okay. It's coming together. Who needs lunch when you can just have another Coke? Ugh. Oh, that's a problem.
Uh, well, if we can nail this once. We just gotta nail it once. Hold on. Best case scenario. Good. Oh, I suppose he doesn't drop anything because it's not that kind of thing. All right. Yeah, so just nailing the shield counter is the best thing, but you know, that also risks the shield, or if you get hit by that, you're dead. And I'm only now just realizing we do not have <laughs> the added benefit of, of, you know, guardian abilities or champion abilities. So, you know, we truly are on our own with this. I don't know why that didn't occur to me until just now, where it's like, yeah, I'm blocking, there's no Daruk's protection, there's no nothing. Therefore, no Mifa's grace or anything like that. So that won't, they can't help us. God, I'm getting more arrows here than I have throughout the rest of the game. Definitely loads of arrows. They're really putting emphasis. It's probably like, oh yeah, there's like a billion arrows, um, you know, in the early part, but uh, after, you know, a few floors, you just stop getting arrows altogether. No! Shoot! God damn it! <laughs> okay. I lost track. Was that four, like five, I think? Okay, here we go. Uh, floor... No, this is floor five. Wow, they give you a rest area early on. It doesn't bode well, honestly. Falcon bow. Oop, fairy. Helian trousers. Hey, we actually get armor. Don't? Okay. I don't know if we can lose the fairy like we do at Fairy Springs, but I do not want to risk that. Okay, we actually get pants, so... I wonder if there's, like, other armor pieces in the chests I lost. That would be very cool and very unfortunate. Palm fruit... Come here. Okay. I think that's all the stuff here, really. Nothing really to grab from the trees otherwise. Okay. Okay, let's sort this out. What can we do? So we got meats. We got... Okay. Mm, nah, we shouldn't. I mean, mainly just start off. Let's just make one giant, you know, super-powered health dish. A little defense boost. A fishy fruit. You know, I'm not making, th you know, big stat boosting stuff. I'm just making whatever I got. Mighty fruit and s mushroom snack. Copious simmered flute. Fruit, bleh. Alright, that'll do it. And, you know, we could use up the fairy to do, you know, add to a dish as well, but I'd rather not. Okay. Uh, my best dish doesn't even recover my health all the way. Well. And, you know, using any more would be a waste, so we're gonna leave it at that. Okay, level five. We're third of the way there. And we got some pants. So that feels nice. 
Feels nice on the... Oh, no. <laughs> okay. This is gonna be a thing. Where to begin? Well, okay. Looks like Keese is up there. We got... Okay. <clears throat> Back in the foresty area, but now, yeah, now it's... We can't see anything. Is there anything to grab onto, or anything of note? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Right, I suppose I'm worried about just like, Oh god, how are we gonna navigate this? They're gonna be like, well... I s at least in this relatively square rooms, but I suppose we'll see how that advances. Okay, we got like a mob. Um. Of course they have dark vision. Don't spot me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Come on! Stop freaking firing at me! Literally, frick, stop it! Oh, God, this is bad. Cut yourself on fire with your own stupid torch, you idiot. Okay, that was not good. <laughs> Damn, like most of our food is just immediately gone. Shoot. Okay, well. Well, it looks like they cooked up their own stuff. Okay, just thinking. Okay, moving on. Okay, that one was rough. Tough mob, or, you know, tough Lizalfos and we have no armor. Who knows, the pants might have actually saved us, but damn, doesn't feel like it. Okay, Bokos. Something big. Oh, it's, uh... Another Liz or er, Wiz robe. Nope, can't carry any more melee weapons. Oh god. Shoot.
I mean, it wasn't the wisest decision I've made. Caught his attention. Thought that would have gotten him. I don't know why I ever thought to use stasis to hold a whiz robe still for a second. Okay, that was a little rough too. This is not going great, honestly. <laughs> uh, we don't get his- oh, there it is. Okay, meteor rod. So at least we have some magic at our disposal. Blah. Is that a chest up there, or is that just a- I thought there was a... I saw it briefly. I thought I saw a twinkle. Okay. Oh, it's a torch. Okay. Well, unless there's something I'm missing, but let's go. Next floor. What is next? Nine? I lost track again. So much. Ah, oh, Jesus. Ah. Uh. Nine... Oh, are you serious? Well... Was that it? Okay, not too bad. <laughs> Just because of that wild time shield block. Shield up counter. Parry. Yeah, that's the word. Okay, not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. That, you feel a little bit better after that, where it's like, oh god, we weren't completely stomped on, um, that time around. Okay, don't we have another axe? Okay, yeah, axe, we're chopping wood. It makes sense. Can you believe it? All right, you know, that's kind of a scary situation. You know, a guardian in a dark area. You know, good thing it was grounded, though. So it's just like, okay, you can sneak around it. You can mess with it. But if, you know, if you can at least get that counter off where it's like the one counter, we'll knock that out immediately. Like another one. Okay. It's a Hinox. Okay, this one... I don't want to risk that it's probably the same color Hinox as what took us out bef almost took us out before. Okay. Sorry, just like Link's eyes in the dark. Kind of creepy. Okay. So what's the approach? Well, let's pose first approach. What's glimmering there? Okay, my thought process is Rusty Claymore. Okay, not really. 
Well, I suppose... Oh, wait. Nope, not quite. I don't want to swing the freaking torch and wake him up. I want to know what hand we can use to ride on. <clears throat> you know, let's get a layout. Okay, that his hand is on oh, right there. Couldn't be sure. He's got a leg brace. He's got two. Okay, worst case scenario. We gotta do what happened last time. And we need to... You know... Hit him in the eye, run behind him, hit him in the back. Or, you know, hit him in the butt. See what we can get off of him in a quick moment. Whoops! Ah, damn it. Okay. You know, kind of the worst thing about this... Oh, right! Actually, we can burn his leg braces, because they're fire, or er, wood. Ground pound? Ah, shoot. Got too greedy. There we go. I got greedy, but we got him. That was a pretty bad hit, though. Yeah, I didn't. it didn't occur to me. It's just like, oh yeah, right, he's got braces, but we can burn them. Uh, okay. Not bad, not bad, not great, but not bad. Could be worse, but it could have been better. Uh, I suppose just move on, there's just rusty weapons about. Yeah, if we throw a ru rusty weapon into his eye, does he get tetanus? <laughs> How quickly does that uh, affect him? After, okay, I was gonna say, after the Hinox, but this is floor 11. Okay, so the last couple of floors must be a real, real pain if they're giving us a second break. Forest Roller Sword. First order of business. Let's get this guy. Come here, baby. Gotcha. Okay, two fairies. I hope they activate automatically. <laughs> Force Roller Spear. <clears throat> okay, I'll have to clear out my equipment and see what I want to get rid of. Helian Tunic. Okay, there we go. We got a shirt. You know, it's not much, but it's a shirt. Okay. Oh, there's another fairy. Shoot. And I scared it off. I didn't think there'd be two fairies. Well, we got... Ugh, shoot. Well... I didn't think there'd be two fairies. I jumped the gun a little bit, but there we go. We at least got two for us to work with. Oh, there's another bass. There we go. Okay. Uh, forest dweller stuff. What do I want to get rid of? Let's keep the elemental rods. We could probably ditch the torch and the boko spear.
Okay, I doubt, or you know, maybe we're not gonna get more darkness, dark riddle challenges. <clears throat> okay. You know, it'd be a good idea to just sort out our equipment so we're not worrying about what the hell does what in the moment. We'll keep that, it'll break soon enough. Okay. So, what do we have here? Ugh, might as well do another heavy meat dish. You know, not efficient to use things like that, but you know, that's what I'm doing. Can't make a lot. I suppose, you know... You're supposed to be more thoughtful for how you do things, just like, if I combine it with this, I can then do blah. Um, and I'm not doing that. <clears throat> okay. I suppose, top off as much as I can. Alrighty then, I think we're fine. Onward to the next level. Okay, mini guardians. Whoops. Sorry, that was just my immediate reaction. I suppose that wasn't necessary, but, you know, it destroyed them immediately. <clears throat> I'm guessing we're gonna be fighting more guardians, though. Uh, how the- oh, right, duh. Sorry, I'm just like, how are we gonna get up here? It's a mystery! Oh, wait. We have a thing that is special, specifically made for working on water. <laughs> Arrows, okay. Would have restocked the arrows that we could have used on that. You know, maybe duck and weave, we would have hit them all, but we got it. <clears throat> Alright, moving on. Okay. I feel like this is a setup. Okay. Damn it. Oh. Okay, I thought there was a fourth one. We got a hit because I mistimed the dodge. Okay, but guardian weapons, so that's pretty good. What can we get rid of then? Mm. Maybe we don't need the axe anymore at this point. Well, we just replace it with a different axe. <sighs> I want to keep the elemental, um... No, not the Forest Dweller Spear. I mean, it's technically worse than the other one, but I just like the Forest Dweller Spear more. Okay, is there anything else in this room while we're here? We got some basic, uh, you know, uh, guardian gear. Two more, you guys. I think I see the leg of another one right over there. There we go.
All right, one of you guys at a time. You can come to me. <clears throat> okay, good thing we have the falcon bow, you know, that extra range and damage. I mistimed it. I gotta do that more often. Why am I not doing that more often? Jesus. But yeah, parries. You gotta do parries more. I was wondering if maybe that guardian sword would have a bigger bonus, but whatever. Um, don't suppose there's anything in the water. Hidden around the corners of the water. Oh, there actually is something. I missed it. Uh, oh, that's an arrow. What we got? Ten arrows. Eightfold long blade. That's pretty good. Um, okay. Suppose I had to get rid of a guardian weapon, probably. Actually, the forest bow. Or forest spear. You know, just making sure there's nothing trapped around the corners. Okay. Focus up. Probably don't need a long blade to start. We'll just start out with a guardian sword. Okay. Uh, was that 14? I think that was 14, right? Two. Okay. Suppose. Ooh, okay. Damn it, every time I mess that up. You know, good thing those don't stun lock you into just more damage. There we go. Okay, those were like, you know, Mark II uh, Guardians. No, Mark III, actually. Because, that. well, maybe. Yeah, whatever. Get rid of that broadsword since it's taking a lot of damage. That's just a regular ancient axe, but, you know. Oh, we could have lit the fire underneath his butt belly, and then that would have helped us out. Okay. <clears throat> well, we, we know. We know now for when we da fail on this next um, room. Because this should be the last one, right? 16... Okay, I'm like, this is gonna be a full guardian, right? No. I'm almost, dis almost disappointed. Although, ooh, that was bad, actually. Um, man, I should shut my damn mouth. Ah, oh, you f stupid idiot. You had to f fall all the way over there. Okay, hold on. Use what I got.
My timing's off. And I was gonna be... You know, I was acting cocky and just like, Oh, this will be no big deal. Right, we do not have the margin for error. Okay, I thought that would be enough. All right! There we go. That should have been the last floor for this. Uh, you know, I'm just sort of like, oh, just a brother, regular guardian? It's basically just a major test of strength from the shrines. What's the big deal? Oh, wait. We are significantly weaker than when we do <laughs> those, but we're fine. We made it. To the one chosen by the Sacred Blade, I commend your efforts in this trial. You are now strong enough to wield more of the Master Sword's power than ever before. Courageous hero. Chosen by the blade. Take hold of the master sword. I suppose they just got like a little council. I'm only now noticing. Um, oh, actually. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, I'm now only realizing. It's like, okay, you know, this is where we pulled it from the first time. This, oh. Well, it's even, well, I suppose that checks out. It's just Triforce Pedestal. Um... But then when we complete the last trial, it will be right to their little council room right there with... Yeah, that's kind of cool. Okay. Wave two. Okay, medium. You know, some rough moments. Um, You know, I might have gotten a little too cocky, but we got it. Okay. <sighs> Alright, and that surprisingly took less time than the first one, but I suppose it was just, like, more technical and just trying to, like, get a grab on it. Yo. And that should boost it up by another ten points. You have finally returned. You look stronger than when last I saw you. The Master Sword you wield is now more powerful than before. Master Sword, 40 to 50. Boom! Uh, this Link's Conquest to the Trials of the Sword have amplified its splendor. If you desire still more power and wish to retry the Blade's test, once again, place the Master Sword on its pedestal. Will do. Okie dokie. Alright. So yeah, next wave of trials done. We got it. God, I miss having clothes. <laughs> Um, but there we go. Yeah, four, 50 now. So, you know, it's, you know, almost as strong as just, you know, an ancient plus plus axe as a regular sword, you know? It is, you know, once it's already stronger than a plus plus regular, you know, uh, one handed sword, and we can amplify that even further to basically be axe strength, um, you know, just naturally. And something I forgot about, uh, but, um,. When you, you know, if you try to throw the Master Sword, um, you get to throw... Oh, right, we need max health for that. Um, yeah. Hold on. Yay! I'm gonna talk to Pep here and just take a quick nap. You've been gone for a couple of seconds, but I suppose you need that rest. Okay, but there we go. Master Sword Trial 2. That was the medium trials. And then we're going to have the... 
um, you know, the, uh, the third trial, which is going to be 23 missions, so that's going to be, you know, like seven more than last time. So, you know, that one might be tougher. I'm wondering how it scales. Um, but yeah, we get the blade attack. And I don't remember, I think it's this ability tied to the, uh, you know, wild gear, where that, the wave ability gets stronger, um, while wearing it. But either way. So, okay. Sounds good. We'll wrap up here for right now. Next time we continue, we will carry on, and we will, you know, go after the third and fi final, uh, round of the Master Sword Trials. So, until next time, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, like and subscribe and all that. This is Samara, signing off.